What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Guys, it's Gus and I. Um, I know you guys all came here to see Gus and that is understandable, but you're stuck with me for a little bit of this video. So this video is going to be about uh, feeling lonely in your fitness journey and having fit friends and how to go about that and just like some things I've experienced and go gone through. So a lot of people have asked either whether it be an email or DM or Snapchat message, whatever, they ask and say like, what do you do? Where have you gotten to how you are? You feel, It looks like you have such amazing friends and like I'm just very lonely and no one understands what I'm doing and et cetera, et cetera. And I'd like to say that I figured it out and I know the answer, but there's always gonna be people that live different lives than you and have different goals. So it's unrealistic for you to think that everyone's going to abide by your life. People can support you, but like the majority of the world isn't going to stop and cater to you. So that's one thing that I had to learn that like just because I decided to change my life doesn't mean that everyone around me was gonna change my life. And I also think it's important to note that like I still struggle with these kind of things. Um, I still get made fun of for my fitness Instagram and my YouTube and and I have a lot of people, there's a spider right there and I think I'm going to cry and uh, if this camera breaks, we'll see, it just crawled somewhere. All right, I'm gonna keep talking. Um, I still have people who don't understand what I do, people in my family, friends, uh, but the thing that I would say to you is give advice is find people who are going to support you. So whether, if, whether they do the fitness thing or not, find people that are there for you because and this is a cliche and it sounds like you should already know it, but like you don't have to have shitty friends in your life. You don't have to have people that put you down and make you feel bad about yourself. And I, growing up in high school, uh, I was I was made fun of a lot in middle school and high school and I had different friend groups. There's some girls and guys that I've had friends for a long time, but there's other people who were in my life and I thought that they were so cool and that they were like my best friend and it proved that they always made me feel bad about myself and I wasn't doing like anything to become my own person. And then in college, I met a lot of people who were really good friends of mine and when I stopped going out and partying, yes, I went out like seven days a week um, and started to work, look out for my mental health and start to do things that made me feel good about myself and just to like do things for me instead of what everyone else was doing. There was a lot of people who disagreed with that, still disagree with it. And while it sucks that I had to lose those friendships or not be as close friends with those people, it has given me so much freedom to live the life that I want to live. And if your friends, I think I'm gonna pop up a graphic my friend Matt made um, where he talks about uh, losing friendships. So I'm gonna pop that up on the screen if you wanna go ahead and screenshot it. I'm just gonna talk over these graphics real quick because I didn't have them on hand when I was recording this and re-looking at them, they're so important. So it says, why is it so hard to start diet and exercise? This is your tribe. Your tribe has many traits in common. You may eat similar foods. You may have similar hobbies, interests, and morals. You may go out and drink every weekend. You, you decide you want to make a change. You want to break away from the normal shit you do and replace it with new stuff to make it better. Then there's your tribe. This makes some of your tribe mad because you aren't like them anymore, especially when you're trying to fix a bad tribe habit that they wish they could change. Your desire to change exceeds your pain of change and you please yourself. So your true tribe members will accept you and even praise you and want to join. Others will only envy. And then the other side is you give in to the peer pressure and please your tribe, but not yourself. If you want to stay with your tribe, you have two options. You only have one life. What will you choose? Spoiler, you should choose yourself. And I think these graphics are really great. You can go ahead and follow Matt. His IG is going to be on it. He makes a lot of other graphics, but I think this is very inclusive of what's going on and what's gone on in my life and what's gone on in a lot of my friends' lives. When you want to change your life and you want to better yourself, people that aren't there yet want to pull you back. And this isn't to say that everyone who disagrees with you isn't there yet and just wants to pull you back. It's just to say that 
when you're changing and you're trying to make a positive change, people who don't have that willpower yet are not going to want to change. So they're going to want to pull you back in to their lifestyle, to their negative behaviors. And it's just proven to me over and over again, the people who have not been happy for me and not been happy in my success are people who want to change things about themselves. But basically, he talks about that when you change your life, there are people that are going to dislike you for it, and there's people who are going to support you, and there's people who are going to follow you. So I, I wouldn't say that all my friends are fitness friends now, and everything's great, and we just talk about fitness and love life. I don't think that fitness is my life. I think that there are other things that are a part of me other than just being fit or being Sue Gaines. Uh, but it's important to find friends that support you. So my friend Krisher, who she's been on this channel before, I've talked about her before, uh, she doesn't do the fitness thing. She still goes out. It's, it's really cool to watch her grow because she started working out more, not necessarily because like she feels like she has to, but she's found that she can do what she wants to do. She can, um, she's decided to go a more vegan vegetarian route and seeing her from someone who loves corn dogs to being able to do that just because she felt that it was something she was passionate about is awesome. And seeing her just grow into her own person is awesome. She still enjoys alcohol. She still doesn't always enjoy going to the gym. She doesn't track macros. She's not about that, but she supported me from the beginning. Uh, she even said that she kind of thought it was a joke to begin with because it didn't seem like me, um, which is a very loose term. But she has supported me this whole time, even when I was busy, when I was in prep and didn't have much time for people, which was my own fault. But she understood that. She would text me, she would check in, and she's the kind of friend who, this is my favorite kind of friend, but like realizes that I'm busy and introverted and physical or social situations sometimes drain me. It's just she gives me that space. She checks in and she is the same way. So as long as we shoot each other a text that says how we're feeling, um, and she's also the kind of friend which I love and I've found friends, like I thought that Krisha was gonna be the only one that will text me and say like, oh, you want to do this? If I respond and say, I'm having a bad mental day or something like that, she'll say, great, feel better, have a great day, or what can I do to help or something like that. When I used to feel goaded into doing things, even if I felt bad because I thought I had to go to that party or I had to do that thing for people to like me. Um, so I guess the main point of that ramble is just that like you, if you, if you want to drink or if you want to not count macros, if you want to go do things that other people are doing, go do them. But don't make someone, don't let someone feel bad make you feel bad about yourself just because you're not doing it. Uh, we are all such different people. We have different lives. We have different goals. We have different thoughts. And it's stupid to think that we can all fit into the same exact mold and live our lives the same way. Success for me looks very different than success for someone else. And uh, living a healthy lifestyle for me looks very different than someone else. So it's important to keep those in mind. But while you're keeping those in mind, um, like actively search out people who are going to support you and love you and just like embrace who you are. Uh, like there's that quote that's like, I'm allowed to change. Um, you have no obligation to be who you were a year ago, a month ago, or even five seconds ago. And I, I think that's so true. Although my Sue Strange, who I am, and people who have known me since elementary school will tell you that I'm the same person, I'm still Sue, but I have much more purpose in my life, I have much more intent in my life, I have much more joy in my life because I decided to live a life for me. And um, there's a few girls who have told me that like uh, people make fun of them for weighing their food or uh, make fun of them for going to the gym and make them feel bad about themselves for improving their life and I've been there, slash still am there. So I would just say to ne never just cut someone out of your life because they are not fitness or they're not understanding right that min minute. Like you've changed, you've changed your life and that's hard for some people to accept and it's hard for some people to adapt to. So while you do not owe it to anyone per se, give people a chance educate them as you go and still be their friend. Don't say, oh, because you don't go to the gym, then I don't want to be your friend. 
you can still have other friends. You can still have people who do other things. You have to find something that you guys can now do together as your new personalities, as your new humans. Now, you can grow out of some people and some people are toxic in your life and you shouldn't have them in your life. I fully believe that. But if this is a change you're just making, allow people to have time to adapt to it. Educate people about why you're doing it. Explain yourself. Don't just say, I'm, I'm this way now. Sit down, talk to them, talk to them why it annoys them that you have a fitness Instagram or why it annoys them that you go to the gym or why they feel that they cannot connect with you anymore. If it's a stupid reason like, oh, we can't go out drinking anymore, then then discuss that further and don't just like end it at that. Now, that was a little bit about what has gone on and what you should do with it. But um, if you're looking for more fit friends to go to the gym, to talk about things, first of all, something I'm looking into, I will be launching a website very soon, uh, is creating more of a community so people can talk to each other. So I find that it's very helpful to be able to discuss your goals, talk to like-minded people, talk to people at a different point in their fitness journey or in a different part of their life and learn from it. Um, so being able to either, if you want me to create a Facebook group, comment below, um, or if, my dog just got down, or um, create a feature on my website where we can all communicate with each other and be a community um, to support those people who feel lonely. Um, and... But another thing is to reach out to people. Now, I don't think proximal distance should determine who your friends are. If you look at your childhood, you grew up with people and then you go to college and you meet these amazing people that you wouldn't have met if you didn't go to college. And most of the time, they're not from the same location where you're from. They didn't grow up with you. They're new people from different locations and they become your best friends and you wonder how you could ever live without them. Well, they're from a different location. So if you're just thinking that, oh, I can't, meeting friends online is weird, or dating online is weird, or something like that. Like, proximal distance shouldn't be a deterrent of, like, awesome people that you meet. I've met so many awesome people through social media, reaching out to them, talking to them, like, supporting them, being their cheerleader, and letting them be mine, um, that I wouldn't have met. Through. There's Lissa all the way in Texas. There's people close as Louisville. There's people in Columbus that I've met through social media. And now that I live in Columbus, I met Gabby through social media. She was in Lexington. She started her social media, and I DM'd her or emailed her. And that's another example of just like reaching out to people, being kind, talking to them. I try to answer a ton of DMs that I get or emails or anything. And I have hung out with these people, become friends with them, been something, even if I can't hang out with them, been someone they can talk to and converse with. So not expecting people to just be your friend immediately. When you made your friends, you still had to talk to them, be a friend to them, um, and get to know them. So for making fit friends, talk to girls or guys in the gym, talk to people on social media, DM that person and tell them what they mean to you or just say like, hey, you're an awesome person. I'd love to like do blah, blah, blah with you. Um, so being able to reach out to people and find people with similar goals and be in a community. I hope this helps some of you guys. If you have any specific questions, leave them in the comments below. I have no problem answering things that I've been through. If you want me to talk about it in depth further, I would love to. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus. Um, if you've been my friend in the past and we're no longer friends, there's no hurt feelings. I'm only making this to explain that it's not always been this way for me. I've not always had amazing people in my life um, and even if I have lost friends along the way of coming my best self, then I am, it hurts and it sucks losing those friendships, which I once held really near and dear to my heart. But it's also like people have told me like, you seem so much happier now. And I like, that's like my favorite compliment to get is because I freaking am happy. I'm happy to be able to talk on YouTube. I'm happy to be able to post selfies of myself on Instagram and make long captions. Um, I'm happy to share this and make friendships and make um, a, my life better. And like some of the people in my life right now have been so amazing for me growing as a person and not even in fitness. Like of course, a lot of the people have helped me along the along the road. Like these people in my life currently push me to be better. They support me. People like Shelby, people like Alex, people like Gabby, people like Michelle, people like Nick Tong. Like 
people like Emily Duncan. People's captions inspire me and push me to be a better person. Conversing with these amazing human beings that have done something for themselves makes me be a better person. And being able to have people who um, challenge my previous thoughts and be able to have a real conversation about it instead of just there's always lack of communication and pettiness and resentment that builds up in friendships. The friendships I have now, I feel that will last for a long time because it's not just rooted in a single activity. It's rooted in growing as a person, bettering yourself and helping other people be better, which is probably my favorite part of all of this is that I get to help people. I get to share what I've learned, share my struggles in the hope that I help someone else along the way. Well, to talk to you guys, even if I get made fun of for the next million years, I don't care. But like if there's somebody that was like me a few years ago that I can shed some light and help them live their life like I am living now. Um, a life of freedom, a life of enlightenment, and a life of growth, then I don't care. I, I just really don't care. So I hope this helped. Um, become friends in the comment section. Comment below if you want that Facebook group or if you want it as a feature on my website. You can always DM me or email me. If I do not get back to a DM, I would suggest emailing me because the DMs, there's like your DMs of people you're following and if you're not following someone, then it goes in a special folder. And so I have like a lot of weird ones in that folder from weird people and that by that I mean inappropriate. So if I don't respond to your DM, email me if you really wanna talk, so. Love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.